Look at that for every duty. Right, you can only get $60 out in uh, Greece. Out of the... So, <laughs> you know, that must make everything grind to an halt, mustn't it? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got that money, I can't get it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My God, what a nightmare. That Merkel, she's like, that. nah, you can't, uh, we can't quash a load of the debt. You cannot see what choice you've got. You know, what's it all about, this EU? Eh? You know what I mean? I thought we was going with the, uh, the sickle or the hammer. <laughs> it's bollocks, isn't it? Speaking with Sarajevo, Mrs Merkel said the Eurozone had dealt with the issue of debt sustainability in 2012. She described Sunday's EU summit as a, dis a decisive and important meeting. We must not forget that the Greek people are suffering at the moment, she said. <laughs> Why, well, yeah. The Greek government has meanwhile extended bank closures. <laughs> $66 daily limit on cash machine withdrawals until Monday. You couldn't fill your car up, could you? So bad. I mean, what's that in... What's the IMF for? You know, it runs around mugging everyone, doesn't it? And then when it gets an opportunity... To keep someone in the cabal. <laughs> they don't bloody help. What's all that about? It's a true con on earth, isn't it? What happens next? Right. Greece's creditors, the European Commission, the European Central Bank and the International Monetary Fund have already provided more than 200 billion bailouts since the rescue plan began five years ago. The second bailout expired on June 30th. They've got a gas pipeline on the on the horizon, haven't they, with Russia? I believe. The creditors had hoped for new concrete proposals from Greece at a meeting on Tuesday. But these were not submitted and they instead agreed to set a new deadline on Thursday. Greece has been warned this is the final deadline. What have they got to do is sign on the dotted line. Eh? My word. And all the um, pensioners stood outside the bank because they ain't got cards, you know. Because they're of yesteryear, right? They look. So what are they going to eat tonight? Is the bank going to open? I don't think it's opening, is it? Like, you know. It's probably she ain't got a vagina on her head. <laughs> is she Adolf Hitler's offspring? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in with its Japanese government. Met here and agreed a bailout deal for Greece. Five years and another bailout deal later, it looks like they'll be voting again. If Greece is to get any more help from Europe, they'll have to say yes here first. Ich werde einem erneuten Rettungsprogramm für Griechenland. I will not vote in favour of a third bailout package for Greece. I voted for the first, expecting the plan would work, expecting Greece to reform. Instead, the situation got worse and worse, and the liabilities for the German taxpayer keep rising. Nearly half of those taxpayers now think it's time Greece left the Eurozone. There's sympathy here for the Greek people, but impatience with its government. Greece owes Germany 68 billion euros. I wonder how you feel about the prospect of more German money potentially going into Greece. I'm not very fond of that because uh, I think there are a lot of problems to be solved in the rest of Europe also in Germany, and there are lots of places who urgently need money too, not only Greece. After the World War, we are just standing here. Germany was helped, you know. They can't, they can't help bringing the war up, can they, Jerry's, eh? <laughs> I were in Germany, like, and like, it was funny, like, um, you know, when you got talking to an odd German, like, stop, do you truly feel bad about the war? Like, <laughs> not do you, was it? You know? 
Hello, but I feel really bad about it. I said, well, don't. Years ago, this one. Don't. You know what I mean? Like, young people and that. I thought, even then, in my naive, you know, what, what, what age? Uh, we were about 20, you know. And um, even then, I thought, my God, this is mind control, isn't it? Now, this is where I hate Zion, because they, you know, argue all you want about the evil, but you can't deny that, you know, the history of World War II does not add up, does it, at all. It's as ropey as... Uh. After the war, and though we have to help, of course, but we have to discuss. This is a country where debt, even on a personal level, is frowned upon and where it's considered important to play by the rules. And that's why you can expect Berlin to continue to insist on reform in exchange for bailout and why, too, you can expect strong opposition to any kind of debt relief. Earlier this week, Angela Merkel insisted the doors still open to Greece. Her own MPs would prefer a harder line, but her public approval ratings are buoyant. She is being perceived as a crisis manager. She is not a politician with, uh, with visions for, for the next decade, but uh, uh, she has this approach to say, well, we have to look uh, from day to day and how we, how we get along, and this is what... Um, Obviously, most uh, voters uh, appreciate. Berlin's victory column, an old symbol of German strength. Today's economic might means this country has a powerful say over what happens to Greece, but time's running out, and so is German patience. Jenny Hill, BBC News, Berlin. So, Jerry's don't want to know, do they? You know what I mean? You can understand it, can't you, really, but... You know, it's a modern world now, isn't it? Surely Greece can be sorted out. How can it be beyond all the money that... I know they crack on like it's all... There is no money, everyone's saying there's no money. But that's what you get with rich people anyway, isn't it? No, if you'd... Um, you're unlucky enough to bump into one now and again. You know, they're always skint, aren't they? Huh? Oh, no. Not again. No, I don't want you. Uh, yeah. They're always pleading poverty, aren't they? Huh? You know what I mean? And the, the richer they are, the bloody skinter they are, aren't they? You know, I know, pull a big wad out or whatever. <laughs> uh, and that's all that's happening now. Yeah? I mean, I don't know everything about Greece, don't get me wrong, but... You know, it. it's the cradle of bloody civilization, isn't it? It's a beautiful place. What problems can they have on the world stage? Do you know what I mean? It should be like one of the main destinations, shouldn't it? You know, it should be a place of education and learning, shouldn't it? It should be bloody respected, really, shouldn't it? You know. Can you imagine if you, if you got money in the bank? Can you imagine you only be able to get 40 quid out a day? Huh? Tell you what, Dick Turpin wore a mask. There will be one. 